Hello, I'm Jane Hemmings from Cavs in Carmarthenshire. I'm one of the volunteering officers. Hello, I'm Aled, uh, also from Cavs in Carmarthenshire. I'm one of the other volunteering officers. And today we have joining us Leila Lucas from the Repair Cafe. Hi. Hi. She's come to talk to us a little bit about volunteering. Um, Repair Cafe Clashley um, was set up last month. Uh, we've had our first meeting and our next one is uh, this Saturday in, in October 16th. Uh, it runs on the third Saturday of every month and at the moment it is a female only participant repair cafe um, due to the fact that the venue is a domestic abuse service. So what Repair Cafe does is Anything that you have that might be broken or perhaps you don't know quite know how to fix it or change your fuse, uh, we have volunteers who are able to help you with these things. So, for example, in the last repair cafe, we had a lady who had a broken strimmer. She didn't know what was wrong with it. And it turned out all it needed was a new fuse, but she didn't know what to do. So she brought it along and we fixed it. We had um, a lady who needed some trousers to be shortened, but they were quite um, an intricate pattern embellishment on the on the bottom of the trousers so they had to be shortened from the waist down um, in some magical way that our sewing ladies managed to do that uh, we also had a lady who brought in her chainsaw uh, which wasn't working and she tested the fuses and, and other bits and bobs as far as she could but couldn't go any further so our electrician has a look and he identified what was wrong did a Google search, found her the right parts that she needed to order. She then went away, ordered the parts, and then she sent me a message to say that she's managed to fix it herself now using that, that part. So, so it could be something as simple as that. It could be literally sewing on a button, anything like that is a service that we offer. So it's female only customers on the day, but we do offer a drop-off service for male customers. They can bring their items along, we can fix it and then return them back to them. Same service is also offered to females if they just want to drop an item off and have it fixed. And what sort of volunteers are you hoping to recruit for the service? We are looking for some more fixers. Uh, so fixers can be male or female and you can come along to every repair cafe every month or you can just come along to one or two or perhaps when we need someone. So at the moment we have sewers and we have an electrician. Um, but we don't have anyone who can fix IT equipment or anyone perhaps who could fix things like bikes. So that's what I'm looking for at the moment. But I'm also looking to have a bank of volunteers so that I don't have to particularly rely on the same electrician every month because maybe he's not going to be able to make it. So it would be nice to have a backup one or they can do alternate um, sessions. Uh, sewing is something I don't particularly need any volunteers for at the moment because I have a, a large waiting list of volunteers who can sew. Um, we also need a couple of volunteers to do like welcoming people um, in because it's because of the, where the venue is it's a secure entry so we need someone at the door to welcome some of the people to come in and show them wh where the room is uh, we could also do with someone who's a bit um, IT savvy to help complete the online forms for the people who aren't able to do it themselves um, we have a system where it's a QR code so you can just scan the code and load it on your phone some people are absolutely fine with that some people that they're not even able to do that themselves. So if we can have someone that is able to do that, that would be a great as well. And hopefully then someone to make teas and coffees and assist us just with general duties in the day. So apart from the fact that you're helping to save items from landfill, which is brilliant, um, the benefits to the actual volunteers themselves is obviously they can gain skills from volunteering. Um, and then as part of um, Repair Cafe, actually we can off offer tempo time credits for any time that is given um, up by the volunteer so we can uh, reward you with those which can then be spent on perhaps um, days out or trips or converted to shopping vouchers through tempo time credits and we also offer a level two in volunteering and community engagement which is a free qualification which all of our volunteers can study if they wish. The Repair Cafe is three hours once a month so on the third Saturday. So um, ideally, if they can be available for the whole three hours of the, the, the time. If it's someone, for example, like bikes or IT, we can do an, like a, an appointment system. So I'd know whether people were coming along because generally people send a message to the Facebook page and says, say, can you fix this item? And then I can say yes, no, or I'll get back to you. So um, for example, a bike repair, um, 
we could ask them to come in at 11 o'clock on the Saturday and the bike repairer will be there to do it. And maybe the, the bike repairer only needs to be there for half hour or an hour. So it's not necessarily the full three hours. Other than that, there isn't really much um, time commitment apart from the, those three hours in the day, apart from me sending the odd message to remind them when the next one is or offer them training or um, ask their advice on, on a fix, that's all. Unfortunately, we can't offer volunteer expenses. Um, uh, it's not something we have the funds to do, I'm afraid. Um, there are other repair cafes um, within Carmarthen. So there's one in um, Kidwelly, one in Ferryside and one in Carmarthen. So if those are closer to the people, then they could contact those for volunteering. But unfortunately, we can't offer expenses, only tea and biscuits. They don't need any particular experience or qualifications other than the ability to sort of fix it or give it a go. Obviously with the specialist things like um, IT, I would prefer if someone had a background in IT to be able to fix the items. Um, obviously our electrician is qualified and we pat test it, all the equipment before and after to make sure that it's safe. Um, but other than that, so like our sewers are just ladies who like to sew. We have a general handyman who just is happy to turn his hand to fixing most items. So he's got a doll's house booked in to be fixed this weekend. Um, so, it, you know, it, we're happy to give it a go, but there's no guarantee that we perhaps will be able to fix it. And most people are happy with that because at least they've tried before it goes to landfill. Uh, we do a short induction about what Repair Cafe Wales is. Um, when they come to the building for the first one, we'd obviously do a health and safety induction about the building as to what um, fire exits and everything like that is. Uh, that's kind of all the general training that's offered, but say we do offer a separate level two qualification in volunteering and community engagement if they want to sort of get a qualification to back up what skills they've, they've done at the event. Uh, yeah, um, the building that we're, we are in is a domestic abuse service. We're able to offer support on, on that side. We also offer educational courses to members of the community for free. We have a food bank, we have a charity shop, we have a toy bank, we have a period poverty bank, and we also have a TerraCycle recycling drop-off as well. So there's lots of services that, thresh, that the building threshold offer. Um, and we can also signpost to other organisations if somebody needs support that we're not able to, to offer. Mm, oh, that's lovely. So, you know, in a way, a volunteer becomes part of the family. Very much part of the family, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, that's really that's really interesting. I, I, you know, I didn't know very much about the Repair Cafe until today, so that's brilliant. So what would you say to anyone uh, watching this video who's thinking of doing some volunteering? Uh, I would say give it a go because you never know what you might get from it or what you can give back to somebody else. Um, volunteering is a great, obviously there is a time commitment, but it's a great thing if you can do it. If you can only do it once every six months, that's brilliant. Then that will help someone out at that point, whether it's with Repair Cafe Nathalie, or with another organization, someone will always benefit from your time that you give to them and you will benefit greatly personally from volunteering as well. And how could uh, a volunteer find out more about your uh, roles, etc.? Okay, we have a Facebook page, Repair Cafe Clinetly. Um, so you can find out all the information about what we do and when our, our um, events are on. Uh, you can send messages through that page to, um, to through to me and I'll pick them up and respond. Or we have a email address, which is repaircafeclinetly at gmail.com. Uh, well, thank you, Leila, for joining us uh, today. And you can find this video and uh, more details about volunteering on cavs.org.uk slash volunteering. Thank you.